How you doing, buddy? It's Peter Matichek. Uh, welcome. So let's talk about how to turn your B2B customers into influencers and can it actually be done? Now, of course, influencer, influencer marketing is more on the B2C side. You know, we see a lot of in products. I mean, on Instagram, the whole nine yards, you name it. It's there. YouTubers do it all the time. Influencers, right? What's an influencer is you get somebody outside your company who really likes your product and they help you know, share your story about your product to their audience and they influence that audience and hopefully generate more awareness through their channels and through their etc. So how do you actually do that in the B2B space? So I've been trying to think about this because uh, I've definitely had a couple uh, customers and clients, you know, we've been kind of tossing around ideas. How do you do it? Of course, video comes to mind. The, I mean, the challenge in the video, uh, the challenge story in the B2B space, you know, you get customer case studies. I mean, they're awesome, right? You, if you get a customer to tell you, hey, how much your software or your service or whatever you're offering, you know, increase their performance or cut their cost down. If there's a percentages around it, there's something in there that's fantastic. The, the, the problem is these case studies sometimes take eight to nine months to do. Like, how many times you're like, wow, we worked on this for like nine months. There's like two pages. And, you know, they was stuck in the legal department for the last three months. And it's like pulling teeth. And that's why once you get it, it's like it's on your website. It doesn't matter if it's 15 years old. Like it's going to still be there, right? Because it's so valuable content. Um, but it is hard. And especially when you have like endorsement of a product and there's data behind it. Like it's the hardest thing, you know, I think to get done. So how can you really, you know, make that whole process easier and is there ways to do it? So one of the things that I'm kind of recommending for customers to try is like, look, what's happening in the B2B space is people are, you know, the, the B2B buying process is changing. The way it's changing, it's, all, it's, it's moving towards a more B2C kind of mindset environment. Like not ultimately, but yes, there are, you know, the B2B stats, Gardner always releases these great stuff is there. People are making more decisions and more thoughts and processes without interacting with the company on a face-to-face -face or at a personal level, on a phone call level. Yes, they're consuming their marketing content, but they're also doing their own research. And sometimes when a customer from a B2B space comes to the, the company, they know a lot more about the company than the company knows itself, right? Because they've done all this research, they're integrated, and especially around the millennial generations, they, they're less and less likely to interact with a sales representative. When you're going through that process, really you're asking questions. Right? At the end of the day, too, it doesn't matter what you buy. If it's B2C or B2B, you're going to ask questions. I have these questions. What's the answer? Who's given me the answer? You know that if the answer is found on the company's website, you're a little bit sketchy because that's your kind of like, you know, that's focused and tiered to, towards that political party. If you're going to catch my drift. So, but if you have somebody else, an independent blog or somebody else writing about it, then obviously there's some more, you know, trust towards it. So how do we fit that into the customer, uh, you know, customer space? Look, there's a super cool tool called Video Ask. I put a link to it. I have no affiliation with them, but they're a great tool. They were designed to actually create, you know, customer video, customer testimonials. Super easy on smartphones. They're very authentic. In fact, we have a workflow. I don't know if it's out yet, but we're coming out is how to get B2B marketers to use that specific tool to integrate into the marketing process and make it very efficient and to do it well. I think a lot of B2B, you know, people are a little bit shy from it because it's more, you know, authentic and real, but please don't because that's where everything is going. But okay, before you step into, hey, can you recommend our product? Can you recommend the company? Why don't you just approach some customers that really love you and want to produce stuff for you? Why don't you say, hey, can you answer a question that you had during your buying process? Doesn't matter what it is. Get them to answer a question, a stuck in their own words. They don't have to say, I like your product. They don't have to say, I endorse your product. They don't have to say, hey, this is what your product did to our business, etc. They just have to say, I had this stuck. This is what I was looking for. Oh, and I'm happy to find these guys. That's it. Obviously, you're still going to have to get approval and permission from the company to be able to use it in your marketing efforts. But it should be a lot easier because there's not that data tied into it. There's not that specific endorsement. But if somebody else sees that, a prospect, it's just a different person outside your company answering a question that's part of the buying process that automatically is going to build trust in their process and in their eyes 
and automatically is going to make that person, your customer, an influencer. And I think that's really at the core of what influencer marketing is. Yes, you have influencers, you typically have an audience that you share it with you and you influence others, but you're really influencing a decision, a buying process to ultimately build trust. So just think about that is can you get a customer to use a tool like Video Ask that's super simple and super quick just to answer a question that they had during their buying process? And look, if it doesn't work on video, you can always transcribe it and then turn it into a response on your FAQs or something like that. Say, hey, we have Jill here from this company just answering the question, right? And Jill happens to use the product, right? So then it actually kind of separates the whole, you know, thing that has to get approval for like eons and eons through legal department and every single senior staff out there. That's why it takes so long and actually reduces some of that friction, but you still get awesome content from customers or potential influencers to help your content and to help your buying cycle um, in the marketing space. Until next time, my name is Peter Matuszek. Please do check out workflowx.io. It's gonna help marketers reduce a ton of time and a ton of cost and get the ability to get content, quality content out there quicker. At the same time, then you can start focusing on data, learning, and strategizing new things to try and drive your amazing marketing team forward. All right, thanks so much. Until next time, have a great day. Cheers, bye.